Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I'm at the Links of Victoria near Los Angeles practicing with my friend Mike, who you guys will see because uh, some cool things are coming up on the channel. Uh, I'm going to be headed to Texas to see Dr. Kwan, who uh, is probably the, the top, or one, uh, certainly one of the top, probably the top golf biomechanic scientist in the world uh, who has um, done some really amazing stuff on uh, modeling the golf swing in 3D. But beyond that, the stuff that I was really interested in that you saw on my channel, I'll try to link the video, was uh, the stuff he did with the step drills. So, and how he equated pressure shift is shifting through these step drills to be able to be the thing that really drives you into getting some really good uh, golf shots and impact and stuff. So we're gonna go out there with Dr. Kwan and uh, to his lab in Texas to see uh, what's going on with that and bring it to you guys. So you're gonna wanna see that. So definitely click the subscribe button so you're notified because we'll probably go live from the lab. And the only way to see the live is to be subscribed. And we're coming up on 100,000 subscribers, which I'm hoping will happen before I go to Texas because we're only a few hundred away. Uh, all right, so today, so we saw on the wheel, so I'll, I'll link that video as well. On, and the video with the wheel that was showing us was basically um, a double pendulum. So on any double pendulum, when you take it full, we were saying it gets into a, br a broken state like this and not, not really into a lag state unless we started a double pendulum short. So that was, the, that was the big thing that I saw there was really it showed kind of the mechanism that some golfers are using to keep it from flipping is by having a pretty darn short golf swing. And if I had some numbers out here, you would see that a shorter golf swing with better impact dynamics goes just as far and is a lot more controlled than a longer golf swing with worse. So after putting that out, and a lot of people had really interesting comments in, this, in the comment section about how I can make it better. And uh, my friend Seppo made something really cool in Finland that he's uh, even going to improve on more. And he's a PhD, so he knows way, about, way more about this stuff than I did. Then somebody sent me this guy, Kevin Ryan's videos. Kevin Ryan is like, I don't know much, anything about him really, but he seems like a mechanical genius. He put together a model, a mechanical model of the golf swing, kind of like I did, but mine, it's always on plane. What mine didn't have was forearm rotation. So I'm gonna try to link some, a link to a little bit of his video about the Reiki effect, what he calls, and what uh, Kevin Ryan's saying with the Reiki effect is he's saying that pro golf pros are using a completely different mechanism than amateurs. He said amateurs are using the double pendulum like I had in, on my wheel when you take it long. But he's saying with the, the Reiki effect on his thing is that the pros, they don't really use very much this to this kind of angle. They use this a lot. So this angle, stays pretty much the same but this goes around so i'm sorry this angle doesn't change that much through the swing say the angle from here to here it doesn't really change very much in a pro swing but this the forearm rotation supination and pronation that that changes a lot so he shows uh steve stricker's swing in one of his videos where it's it's going like not changing very much, but then here it's coming around, which was really interesting to me because pros, a lot of times pros, when I interview them or, or stuff I've seen online, they talk about how they really want to limit the, the amount of rotation. Like, and they, they want to be kind of like the new style is like what we see with like Brooks Kepka. It's kind of this like spank release where we want to keep it square, hit it and keep it square. Well, Kevin's saying that the rotation actually is not something to avoid, but it's something to embrace because that's kind of the key of how to, how to hit it like a pro. And it was, it was interesting because um, uh, I think it was Dr. Alan Hocknell from Callaway, before he was at Callaway, did a big dissertation about how there was no correlation between uh, rate of closure in the face and how straight or how good a golfer was. There's golfers uh, that are you know major champions that have a crazy rate of closure I can think of like Ernie Els. And then there's golfers like Brooks Kepka that have a very slow rate of closure. And so he's, it, it was like, didn't matter too much. 
So blending everything together. What I want to do right now and what I'm working on and it's been helping me a lot is I want to go first I'm setting in this force pattern that's kind of like what we're going to be doing with Dr. Squ and Dr. Kwan. I'm doing this baseball thing where you know we're see baseball players they go like this. They go the hands forward and their back foot goes backwards like this. Right? I don't know why they do that but something about doing that sets in, in golf sets my force pattern like really good so I've been doing that I've been walking in out there to get started then I have my feet coming off the ground and that's kind of like I'm on that seesaw board and in the in the wheel we saw that flow and reversing the energy in the correct timing is crucial to keeping leg so thank you. here and then I'm just heels and then I'm gonna do short swing that then I feel like that face is all the way this way just like that club and so it's going to got to rotate so it's this way this way and then short swing and that's good nice and low and straight and a little more squished than normal that's yeah, super straight not totally the squish i want though so there's a, a lot more experiment, experimentation I have to do. Also, on that wheel, I want to try to figure out how I can build my own wheel that actually has some forearm, has 90 to 90 forearm rotation on it. So that's going to be the, the next challenge. Because I think there's something in that of not thinking of the golf swing so much as load this way and then hold or unload this way. But more, this, this angle here stays the same feeling and the club is brought around by your system and not fearing that rotation forearm or body yeah it's perfect all right so it's a work in progress yeah it's a work in progress all right let's this a little transition to the next part of the video i edited together this video and um I can see that the takeaway is not is is still not right. I had had it in a really good position before, and with the and with the leg wheel, we saw that there's a huge connection between takeaway and whether or not you have a flip impact and a lag impact. So it's something that I have to work on. So I'm going to go to the beach and probably toss my golf club backwards about a hundred thousand times. That seems to be the best thing for it. All right. So now the next part of the video. I am just in the last year. I am now the assistant golf coach for a college in Palos Verdes, California. And we play golf here at Trump National Golf Course. So this is me out playing with the team the day after I shot that video. And what I wanted to show you here was just go through a little bit of a tee shot vlog. So, so at this golf course, the tee shots are incredibly hard. And it's rare to be able to go nine holes without losing a ball, actually, <laughs> for me anyway. But really for the entire team. I mean, you gotta be a pretty good player not to do that. So that's what I'm gonna try to do today. So this first hole, there's trouble left. And you can see I hit that one right on the toe. All right, this is where it ended up. And this is where, this is where it ended up. But I, it stayed in bounds, so it, so it was fine. I just had, it just kinda was ducky and didn't go very far. Had 196 yards in from there and actually made a par from there, which is good. The second hole, there is like a lot of places on this whole, this course, there's a little bit of rough to the left and then it's just gone. It's just like, it's a walking path. You actually have to be careful. And that one I hit great. So I think if I can concentrate a little right. bit. Right there, there's the fairway. 264 out. So, so then uh, I actually made birdie on that hole. So, so it was off to a good start after that, that bad drive. This hole is a really, like if you hold your hand out in front of you, you can't even see the, the fairway. It's a very narrow fairway and it's a Pete Dye course and it, it's even more narrow than it looks. And I totally got under that one and I towed it as well, but twist facing, definitely engaged and I made it, I got in the bunker on the right hand side, barely went anywhere, but I got in the bunker, but found my ball. So I'm still on my original ball. So that's the challenge today to finish nine holes with the same ball. 
And that was a great drive. That was probably my best drive right. of the day. Awesome drive here, 146 in. I'm gonna try an eight iron, but like, like a dart eight iron. And I landed that right next to the pin, but it was, impact wasn't great on that one and it jumped off the back. So, um, and then the greens are punched and sanded, so I missed like a four footer. This is the next hole, another very long par four. So, you know you need to hit it, but sometimes you try a little too hard. That one went left, but my ball was in a good spot and, I, and it was in a good spot down on that left fairway. This one is a par five. And that one, the impact was not great, but it went straight. It went very straight. So now a par three, 200. I missed the other par three, but um, I did okay on the other par three. This is 210 yards with four iron over some water. And I hit that pin high to the right and made par. And finally, the ninth hole, which is insanely difficult here. This is 452, something like that. Um, but the second shot is really what makes it hard. And you know that when you hit your shot. So some really good drives and a few really poor drives, but I successfully completed my little challenge. I kept my same golf ball throughout the entire nine holes. I got a lot to work on. Um, I got a lot to, to think about, but even just doing that vlog showed me like, okay, a lot of the things that I'm doing in the, in these practices, I have to start finding different systems and ways to incorporate them. The main thing that I saw there was takeaway. And then also the, uh, the hips are, I need to get back on this device that I made a couple months ago and make sure that my hips are staying back and rotating and not sliding and kind of jumping up into the zone that my arms need to swing in. Any and all advice is appreciated. Thanks for watching everybody. Click the subscribe button. Bye.